While most North Carolina Zoo visitors are enamored with the larger animals from giraffes to zebras to gorillas, it's the smaller creatures that can also make a big difference in the Earth's ecosystems. Now zookeepers and education staff have put together a special day to focus visitor attention on a particular type of small animal. Zoo educator Nicole Peterson tells us more about the plans for Amphibian Awareness Day. The word amphibian actually means two lives. So they spend their first part of their lives in water and then they grow up in water and they kind of look like this, which most people are familiar with. So they start with tadpoles and then they grow or they go into metamorphosis or change. And so they slowly change. They might grow legs start to develop lungs, and then they go into their second life, which is of course one we're most familiar with, the lives that they live on land. There are actually over 6,000 different species of amphibians, and they're found all over the world. And they're very important because they tell us a lot about what's going on in the environment. They're what we call bioindicators. As adults, they're predators, so they eat a lot of insects like mosquitoes, and also they actually are food for different animals. On April 26th, from 10 to 2, we are trying to educate people about amphibians, hopefully grow awareness about them. There's a lot of things you can do to help amphibians out. Recycling is a great way to help out, so anything you can do to clean up the environment is going to help the amphibians. It's also going to help us, too. Um, we have all kinds of fun games and activities and informational tables, and we actually have some giveaways and fun stuff for them to have, so I hope people can come out and enjoy the day and learn some new things about your frogs and toads in your area. Amphibian Awareness Day is another way the zoo is trying to inform the public about the needs of lesser known animals that are threatened or endangered. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.